Hello everyone. On this video, I'm going to show you the uh, how the combo box uh, can bind with the uh, React application. But on this time, the com combo box has the uh, object inside it. As you can see here, I'm picking the uh, McDonald's. So if I pick the Burger King, I can see the image of Burger King. If I pick a Subway, I can pick I can see the image of Subway here. And if I pick a McDonald's, then I can see the image of McDonald's here. So let's uh, begin. So I already wrote this script here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove everything. So I'm going to rewrite this everything. Okay, so now I have the uh, blank applications. Uh, I'm trying to create a blank application here. Okay, so now I have a blank application. So now I created this application using a React CLI. Uh, but uh, if you're seeing this video, I think you guys already created the uh, React applications. So here on this video, I don't have anything else. I only have added the, uh, the services folder. I have a data. So this is a data here. So in data, I am adding the uh, ID and restaurant and image object here and this is data is a collection of this object and it has a list of the restaurant and and there's some images here that's all it does so this is my the main component here the app.js and i'm not using any other component at this for this tutorial i'm doing everything on the main component here so the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a state here so the state is going to be a food state so I can use a use state and use state is basically we could use for functional component and this is my functional component here. So the initial state of is going to be a nothing empty and this is going to be a food state and and this is going to be a method that will set the uh, food state which is here in the first one all right so this is how we can use a use state here so let's make some uh, combo box using the uh, select and options so select and use the option here create some value uh, and test I just want to see that I can see that in the screen or not yes I can see it here I will I'm also using a bootstrap here I added the link of the bootstrap in my index that adds HTML so I could add uh, the uh, bootstrap class here so I will add something called custom select and I will also use a class here a container or and margin 5 here it will goes in the middle here which is okay so now I will use the uh, data which is I have it here so I have to use that data here and I will loop that data in the options here. And on this data, on the options, I will only loop the, the the restaurant name. So I will create the um. I will first I will add the data. Data is adding from services the data. So on this data, I'm gonna get the a map. And on this map, I'm going to loop the option here. So I'll just copy and paste this option. I don't need this. Now it will loop the test three times. But instead of test, I need uh, the image, not image, sorry, the restaurant name. And the value I need is the ID. And also, I need to put a key here. This is the in react whenever we loop something we need to provide a key so that's why it doesn't get uh, repeated so now i have a list of the uh, restaurant that is uh, on this my combo box so now we have to get the image here so when we pick the burger king we need to show the burger king image right there on the bottom so to do that the first uh, let's add on change event on select here and this is a javascript on change event okay. 
so when on change event will happen then i will clock on i will trigger this event on change combo combo box i could write everything here as well and but i could create another constant here for the for this combo box event it's the same thing i'll, I'll get the event from this change event and i will use that event here and once i get this event i know the selected which i know the selected id and i will know the select id by using e dot target dot value so this is going to be my selected id so once i get a selected id i will try to get a selected food state as well and i will get this from filtering the uh, data of data list and on filter i will get the uh, data all the data and in data i will get the id and if i say is id is equal to selected id then i will get the array of the uh, array of these uh, first i will get the only one array of this object and i just need to get of the first one so i'll put the index to zero so now i'm getting the object here I can also see in the console log what's really going on. So if I pick it Burger King, I will see the Burger King, if Subway, McDonald here. So once I get this, now I will set to the my state. So I, I'll set my food state and I will set this selected food state. So now it's going to be sell this going to be object of the selected uh, restaurant. So once I know that what is the object is selected on food state, then I could print any data from that object. But on this one, I'm going to print the image. I'll just put the width and height as well. And uh, this is going to be my selected image, a food state dot it's going to be image it might give you a uh, error because when it's loading at first time then it doesn't know that what is the uh, object here it's a null object here so well, I could also do using a question mark using optional here if its image is exist then show me otherwise don't show me at all so now it's giving me a here blank image nothing else but if i pick burger king i can see a burger king if i do skip a subway i can see the subway so now we need to fix this one we can fix uh, this one by using a filter here we can say that if the food state is exist then show me this guy otherwise don't show me or oh, not question mark here otherwise don't show me anything so now it's not going to show me anything but if the object is exists then it's going to show me so when it's loading at first time it picked the mcdonald automatically but it doesn't show the mcdonald so we're going to do that as well so when the component will load at first time the use effect will trigger this is the uh, the life cycle of the uh, functional component here so now the use effect is undefined it show me here because i need to import the use effect from the uh, react as well so now when it's loaded at the first time we could set the uh, in food state we could set the in food state what data we want so we could say that from data we want the object one so now object one is mcdonald right and if i say the i want data one at this loading state i can see a burger one here but i can't see a burger king here because we didn't also set the the value here we need to set the value on the change event as well so when it set it at first time 
then what we need is we need a food state and the value is we will just need an ID okay so the phone is loading at first time then ID is null so we also need to use a question mark here so when it has an ID then show me otherwise don't show me at all or instead of question mark we could also use a filter on this whole thing but it's easier to use a question mark here so now if I refresh I can see the Burger King looks like this width is really huge here so I'll make this little smaller so now if I pick the McDonald's show me McDonald's show me Subway Subway okay guys that's all for this video hope you guys learned something new I will definitely put this uh, all the code and a git and you can find the link below and hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel i will upload the more uh, technologies trick on these videos on the channel thank you very much for watching bye for now